Bonjour tout le monde. J'espère que vous allez bien aujourd'hui. Nous allons apprendre comment décrire une image en français. Hello everyone, I hope you're well today. We are going to learn how to describe an image in French. Um, and our learning intention for this video is, along the same lines, we are going to be able to describe an image in detail. Now, in the first part of this video, I'm going to introduce a series of expressions that you will find very useful describing an image in detail. All right, let's start. Expression utile pour décrire une image. Sur cette photo, il y a. In this photo, there is. À gauche. On the left. À droite. On the right. On order. On uh, at the top of. En bas de. On the bottom of. Au centre. In the center. And then. Au premier plan. In the foreground. Au deuxième plan. In the midground. Et à l'arrière plan. In the background. So the expressions we have just learned are essential for describing the position of people or objects in relation to each other in the image. So they're essential for describing the physical details in the image, what you can see. Now I have two different slides which have sentence starters for describing an image. The first one is um, tailored to describing a painting which we're going to be doing in this video but the second one will also show you how you can modify these sentence starters for describing a photo. So the word for um, a painting in French is un tableau. So let's have a look at how we would describe um, a painting. Ce tableau a été réalisé par. This painting was created by. So we're going to talk about the artist here. We're going to say, Ce tableau a été réalisé par Claude Monet. Le tableau s'appelle, this painting is called, so then we're going to put its name in, in French, if you know it. Et ce tableau montre, this painting shows. So this painting shows might be followed by an ex explanation of the general um, setting or the even the um, theme of the painting. La scène se passe. The scene takes place. And then you're going to say where. Like, la scène se passe à la plage. The scene takes place at the beach. Au premier plan, on peut voir. In the foreground, we can see. Au deuxième plan, nous voyons. In the midground, we see. À l'arrière plan, on aperçoit. In the background, we can glimpse. À gauche, il y a. On the left, there is. À droite, il y a. On the right, there is. Now, when we are describing a photo, some of these sentences will need to be modified. Now, again, the um, word for photo in French is not hard to remember. It's la photo for short or la photographie, but la photo is fine. So, la photo a été prise. The photo was taken and then we might say where or when, such as um, la photo a été prise au parc. The photo was taken in the park. La photo a été prise à la maison. The photo was taken at home. And let's continue. Cette photo montre. This photo shows. La scène se passe. The scene takes place. Au premier plan, on, a, on peut, peut voir. In the foreground, we can see. Au deuxième plan, nous voyons. In the midground, we see. À l'arrière plan, on aperçoit, 
in the background we can glimpse. À gauche, il y a. On the left, there is. À droite, il y a. On the right, there is. L'homme a l'air, or la femme a l'air. The man seems, or the woman seems. So this one would be um, for describing what their emotions are, or what their feelings are, what you perceive them to be. So you might say, say l'homme a l'air content. The man seems happy. La femme a l'air triste. The woman seems sad. All right, now let's apply these sentence starters by looking at a model image description. We have a painting here by Claude Monet. It's an example of exp uh, Impressionist art. It's called Jardin à Saint-Edresse, um, which is the um, name of a town in Normandy in France, Saint-Edresse, that Monet visited with his family. And this model image description is going to go through three stages. It's going to have a general overview. It's going to have a detailed physical description of what we can see in the image. And then we're going to, for the third stage, give personal opinions or interpretations. Oniva. So now we are going to look at a model image description of this painting. We're going to begin with step one, a general overview. Ce tableau s'appelle Jardin à Saint-Adresse et il a été réalisé par Claude Monet en 1879. Le tableau montre un groupe de hommes et de femmes qui profitent d'une belle journée Ensoleillé. La scène se passe à une terrasse à sainte adresse en Normandie, en France. C'est un exemple d'un tableau impressionniste. And in English, this painting is called Jardin à sainte adresse and it was created by Claude Monet in 1879. The painting shows a group of men and women who are taking, making the most of a beautiful sunny day. The scene takes place on a terrace at saint Adresse on in Normandy in France. It's an example of an Impressionist painting. So now we're going to move to step two, a detailed physical description of the image. Au premier plan, on aperçoit une femme et un homme. Ils sont assis dans des chaises et ils regardent la mer. La femme porte une ombrelle blanche et l'homme porte un chapeau en paille. À gauche, il y a beaucoup de fleurs jaunes et oranges aussi. So in the foreground, we can catch a glimpse of a man, a woman and a man. They are seated in chairs and they are looking at the sea. The woman is wearing a white, sorry, the woman is holding a white parasol and the man is wearing a straw hat. On the left, there are a lot of um, yellow and orange flowers as well. Au deuxième plan, au centre, on peut voir un deuxième couple. Ils sont devant une balustrade. La femme porte une robe blanche et l'homme porte un, une costume. À gauche, il y a un drapeau rouge et jaune, alors qu'à droite, on peut voir le drapeau français. So in the midground, in the center, we can see a second couple. They are in front of a balustrade. The woman is wearing a white dress and the man is wearing a suit. On the left, there is a red and yellow flag, while on the right, we can see the French flag. À l'arrière-plan, on remarque de nombreux bateaux. L'océan est calme et le ciel est bleu avec quelques nuages. In the background, we can notice um, a lot of boats. The ocean is calm and the sky is blue with some clouds. So now we've concluded our detailed physical description of the painting and we're going to move on to giving personal opinions and or interpretations. À mon avis, ce tableau représente comment les gens de la classe moyenne passaient les vacances. De plus, il montre l'importance des bateaux et des ports pour le commerce pendant le 19e siècle. J'aime bien ce tableau car les couleurs sont très vives. In my opinion, this painting represents how people from the middle class 
middle classes used to spend their holidays. In addition, it shows the importance of boats and ports for commerce during the 19th century. I really like this painting because the colours are very bright or very lively. So, to review, we've gone through our three steps. We've given one, a general overview of the image. Two, we've given a detailed physical description of the image. And three, we have given personal opinions and or interpretations. Now to finish, um, I'm just going to explain a few of the expressions that you may have noticed in my model image description that I hadn't explained previously. Now these are again for describing what you can see in the painting, the physical elements and for giving your opinion about it. So on peut voir, one can see. On remarque, one notices. Il n'y a pas de, there is or there are not. Ce n'est pas, it is not. Je pense que, I think that. Je crois que, I believe that. Il me semble que, it seems to me that. On dirait que, one would say that. All right, so what I suggest you do is get an image or a photograph of your own and practice how you're going to go through and describe it in three stages, giving one, a general overview of the painting or photograph, two, giving a detailed physical description of what you can see, and three, giving personal opinions and or interpretations. Okay, bonne chance et à la prochaine!